Boris Fenn's favorite Fenn tuber, January 2022. An introduction. I've been thinking about the different searchers to contact as we're starting a series of interviews for closure to the chase. I've contacted a few, but one person, person came to mind. Why did this person come to mind? Well, this person I had discussed with Forrest all the way back in 2018. And I will say he adored this searcher, or I should say, Fentuber. You'll see. But why did Forrest like this searcher, or Fentuber? Well, first, lightheartedness. This person was fun, never got too serious, and brought content that he said and that's what he intended for the chase, to have fun. And he had a family connection. This Ventuber is someone he shared with his family, especially the little ones. And I'll say, Forrest told me this way back in the day, but I only had it confirmed recently. A little background. The content creator was secretive for a long time, years. Only a few of us knew his identity. But he decided after our exchanges this week to come out and I will tell you, he was the most loved Fentuber according to Forrest Fenn. That's a fact. That's right. Forrest told me directly, this Fentuber was without a doubt the best and most favorite above all other tubers in the land. This won't be your typical discussion with a searcher in the series that we are going to complete in early 2022 for obvious reasons that you'll understand. But this may be more fun. If you haven't guessed it by now, that's right, Leroy. Leroy is our first interview in our series. So we got some time with Leroy, or Leroy's creator. And let's go over what we're going to talk about. Details of how Leroy came about how Forrest tracked down Leroy, Forrest request, and then what does this all mean? Is this thing on? Hello, Internet. My name is Leroy, and I'm hunting for Forrest Finn's treasure. Forrest Finn is a Vietnam vet and art dealer who lives out in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Back in 2010, he went out in the mountains and hid a treasure chest full of gold and jewels and ancient artifacts. He says anyone can look for it. I'm going to find it. So who is Leroy? Leroy is a searcher who was created. He's a cartoon and did a fun set of videos. They were usually five or so minutes, never over ten, for the search community. He was a redneck. He used satire and this persona as being who should find the Forest Fen treasure. He was family friendly and a whole lot of fun. Okay, now you know a little bit about Leroy, let's talk a little bit more. His first video was shot in July of 2018. He even made an appearance at the Jamie Jordan drawing. He sat right next to Forrest on stage. He has nine videos that are up. And his search originator, his name's Jeremy. Jeremy is a frequent poster on Reddit. And Jeremy communicated with Forrest, and especially about Leroy. But Leroy was only a character. No one knew about Jeremy, or very few. 
He was super private and liked to stay out of all the drum. You know how YouTube can be. So how did Forrest find Leroy? Oh, there's a story there. Here's a snapshot of the Jamie Jordan drawing. And you can see there's Mike, Cynthia right behind me, and I was talking. And look who's behind Forrest Fenn. That's Leroy. This is a pretty amazing story. So Forrest wanted to get in contact with Leroy, but didn't know how. So who did he ask? Margie Goldsmith. Margie posted on Leroy's video, and you can see it here, or click on his different videos. Very first one, Margie Goldsmith says, Leroy, you're hysterical. Thanks for cracking me up. Leroy responds, well, I'll be danged. Thank you, Miss Goldsmith. Margie responds, Leroy, I need to get in touch with you. Please email me. And Leroy responds, here's my internet address. I use it to talk to people in Nigeria. And he gives his email. And Margie says, thanks, Leroy, more soon. Well, the more soon is Margie and Forrest talks and now Leroy and Forrest are commun communicating. So now Leroy is talking directly with Forrest and Forrest tells him his granddaughter's having a great time going over his videos. I actually think it's the great granddaughter, Artie. But he tells him granddaughter, so let's go with that. One of the videos has Leroy driving in the car and he takes a turn, but his hands don't go off the steering wheel. And Artie is so smart. She's like, how can that be? So you know they were having a great time. Let's watch that video now. I try to count the whole alphabet off the signs and license plates. Some letters are hard to find out there. I like to sing old sea shanties too. Ain't much difference in crossing the country in a car. Well, now it's getting interesting. Forrest gives Leroy an idea. Let's introduce a new character. And there's some specific quotes I'd like you to use. Hmm. Hello, Internet. My name is Leroy, and I'm hunting for Forrest Fenn's treasure. If you wait just a second, I'll introduce you to my very special guest. <laughs> Billy Bob. Welcome back to Internet. Today I'm honored to have as my guest Miss Maven from Once Upon a While. Miss Maven, why don't you introduce yourself? Hey everyone, my name is Miss Fashion Maven. I'm a Forrest Fenn Doodle from page 66 and Once Upon a While. It's the third book in his memoirs, the other two being the thrill of the chase and too far to walk. Forrest Fenn said he'd never make a great artist, but a lot of people took an interest in the stick figures he'd sometimes draw in scrapbooks and when he'd sign his books for other people. So he thought he'd put a bunch of them in his latest memoir. And that's where I came about. He drew me based on the story he told of a lady who yelled at him in the local supermarket. She had red hair that was full of curlers, short shorts, and slosh sandals. He asked her how many stations she picked up with all those things in her hair. I'm sure that went over well. No, not even a little. So what's it like being drawn by Forrest Fenn? Well, it tickles a little, but it's really great. Don't you think I look great, Leroy? Yes, I do. Do you think he drew you accurately? Yep. I look just like my mother, except my mother wears tennis shoes. You can't see my piercings and tattoos, but they're in here somewhere. The grocery cart is empty, but I was buying some Corona beers. The fellows at the market said, she drinks all that beer, I'm gonna call 911. But I did it anyway. What's your favorite doodle in the book? My favorite is the doodle of Pony in the chapter about the Robert Henry painting. I don't care what the guys at the pool hall say. I think she's okay. She was so broke she almost forgot how to count. You're not making any sense. What can I say? I am a doodle. What's it like being a doodle in a book? 
It's the best thing ever. I'm super famous now. Lots of people have read the book. I'm all over the place. It's great when people open the book to the pages I'm on, and I get to watch them for a while. When they close the book, it's a little dark, so please do tell your viewers to leave the book open on my page. Will do. I think your internet dropped out. Um, Leroy? So, Maven, what do you do for fun? Oh, when no one's looking, I like to wander around the book and read the stories. There's 39 stories Forrest wrote. They're all really interesting. Sometimes I hang out with the other doodles. They're a wild bunch. I like to hang out with the ones on page 164 and 65. What specifically did Forrest ask to be integrated into those episodes? Well, Miss Mavens and some specific quotes. Let's look at those now. So here's some specific quotes from the original request by Forrest. Quote, she could say that my mother wears tennis shoes. Quote, if she drinks all the beer, I'm going to dial 911. Quote, she was so broke she almost forgot how to count. Quote, I don't care what the guys say at the pool hall, I think she's okay. As you can see, all these are integrated. What else did Forrest say to Leroy? Well, after one of the videos, great video, F. And then he added later, I spent many hours in an F86D simulator, F. Couple of old Texas sayings. She'll break a fall, and no flies on that. F. I commented about how nice he was doing at the Jamie Jordan drawing. He wrote back, 95% of people were put on this planet so we could enjoy the other 5%. And last, if I ever write a book and it wins a Pulitzer, I would worry about it being lost in the mail. My family would be proud of me for having another accomplishment, kind of like whoop cream on a cake. F. Those are some fun quotes. The community was unaware of the part Forrest was playing with this channel. Not many views, but it sure was a lot of fun to hear from Leroy. Oh, wow. Jeremy and Leroy. We think there's another post on the way with lots more. That's what's going to be next. Just want to say thanks. So where can you find them? Well, part one is posted on Reddit. And we're hearing part two is on the way. We have lots in store for all the people we're talking about in this community. And it's going to be a fun series, but please be respectful of this person and all the people in this series. He's going to be talking and he'll post on Reddit. One of many we hope to come. Thanks again. Some of you may laugh if you remember back in the day where Leroy was my boyfriend for a little while. And he's made his way all across the community. This was a fun story to tell. If you have a fun story to tell or a story about this ending, please give me an email at kpro3 at aol.com. We already have several lined up, so there's a lot coming. But give us some time and we'll work through them all. Thanks again.